851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. A common question I see in the comment section is, what's the NEO, what's the CO, and what is honestly the difference between them? In today's video, I plan to outline just that, and hopefully make these easier to understand for those who may simply be a bit lost. What is NEO or what is a NEO? NEO stands for New Engine Option. This new engine technology was only introduced in recent years, specifically in 2016 for single aisle aircraft. That single aisle aircraft is known today as the A320neo family of aircraft. Included in this family is the likes of the A321neo, A320neo, A319neo, and there's other variants on top of these ones. The new engine technology though comes from two engine manufacturers at this stage who put forward to Airbus solutions to re-engine the aircraft and make it more efficient for customers in the long run. Those two were CFM International and Pratt & Whitney. From then on, the PW1100 with Pratt and & Whitney and the Leap 1A engines with CFM International were born and placed on the A320neo, the first aircraft to feature the new engine technology. Since this point forward, the new engine technology has moved to the A330neo, a re-engined A330CO. That's the first official mention of CO in this video. So what is CO? Well, unlike the NEO, there isn't a whole lot of explaining to this one. CO stands for Current Engine Option, and well, is simply as the name states, the current engine option available. So when Airbus released their A320neo, or even now their A330neo, the former aircraft, which was known as the A320 and A330 respectively, have the CO added on. However, it isn't uncommon during discussions for people to leave it out, as saying the A320 or A330 has really just become the normal. Now we've got the difference between the names out of the way, is there anything else? Yes, NEO, while standing for the new engine option, doesn't just stop at the engines. For a NEO to come about, various other upgrades are also done to the aircraft, to, well, make it more desirable for carriers. Take the A320neo, for example. The aircraft brought along significant cabin changes, new lighting, and potentially an increase in seat capacity. Overall, with a NEO comes new advancements in technology, not just with the engines, but also inside the cabin. To really complete the video though and explanation, let's try to identify the A320neo. This can be a tricky task for people new to the industry or people who are just not familiar with the design changes. The A320neo and A320co surprisingly look very similar. There aren't any huge design changes, like say the bandit mask which is featured on the A330neo. The main difference is the engine design, but the NEO features an almost extension on the engine towards the lower back area. It's almost like a plate. At least that's the best example I can give. But if you don't fancy looking for that very small detail, often a good way of telling if you've seen a NEO is by looking at the size of the engines and sharklets. They're much bigger than what is found on the A320CO. Alternatively, and pretty obviously, you could just download a flight tracking app, and if you're tracking that plane, it should have N listed after the A320, and then you know you've seen an A320neo. That's the difference between the NEO and CO aircraft. I hope this explanation has made it a bit clearer for you all. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning in, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.